Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I just got back from a local or somewhat local toy show and uh, picked up some goodies. Actually, not some good uh, goodies on the uh, collector side as far as like toys and figures, but I got a bunch of comics that I had been looking for and I wanted to show them to you guys because I think you'll really enjoy them. Um, <clears throat> I also had a couple box days uh, this week, so I'm going to show you those things. Those are the actual figures. Um, but I'm going to get right into it with the comics and then I'll show you the figures because I have quite a few comics that I picked up and I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, first, I'm going to start with the one that I am most excited for, I think. Um, I had never heard of this before. It is a comic book uh, called Sentai. And it literally has Godzilla, Mechagodzilla, and Mothra on it. And as you can see, this is from February uh, 1994 so it's about 30 years old and it's issue one and man it is in like pristine condition and I love that um, it literally says so it's sent I the journal of Asian special effects and fantasy and it says in this issue is Godzilla vs. Mothra vs. Mechagodzilla and it has uh, the new Ultraman and all the latest news and rumors when I when I opened this, what I found was so fascinating is you just open it and then right here on the second page it talks about two new Godzilla films for 1994. They're talking about the uh, obviously the Toho film that went on to be Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, but they're also talking about the uh, American film by TriStar. Um, which obviously didn't come out that year or start that year, didn't come out for another four years, which ended up being the first American Godzilla movie. And it talks about, uh, here, I'm just going to read this little snippet. Uh, Alex Cox has been named director of the new multi-million dollar tri-star production of Godzilla. Cox is known for directing the offbeat movie Repo Man and the smash hit Thelma Louise. So I thought that was really cool. And, and up here they're talking about the... Um, uh, Toho film which they're saying like oh rumors are talking about it being um, Godzilla in battle with a Godzilla like space monster and the new monster is rumored to be the synthesis of a space creature and the remains of Biollante so a lot of things that we know ended up becoming space Godzilla were in here um, and I just found that fascinating you know this is in 1994 um well before the internet and smartphones and all that stuff in, in 94 february of 94 i would have been like four or five years old five years old and uh man if i would have been reading this my mind would have been blown i would have been so excited and um each one is like a little rundown of the film so i talk about godzilla vs mothra and the next one is uh godzilla vs mechagodzilla but last thing i want to show you in this comic is down here they even have some of the concept art of Batra, but also what I found really fascinating is the concept art of Bagan, or Bagan, however you want to pronounce it. Um, obviously, we know that uh, at first they were thinking about doing a, a Mothra film and, and having, you know, uh, Batra or Gigamoth, I think maybe it was the name at the time, um, and Bagan was going to be in it and just having like that that concept art and this um so early I, again i think it's hard for people of these newer generations to realize like when this type of stuff would come out and um it was so so much before the internet and smartphones like this information wasn't regularly at people's fingertips so it was uh really um it was really cool it was and you just had to wait you, i mean you had to hope that a store you went to carried um a comic book like especially like me i don't i don't live close to places like especially back then i don't live close to places like that so uh, if i would have man if i would have saw that in 94 my head would have been exploding with excitement but yeah i thought that was really interesting and i like i said i'd never heard of the sentai comic it's literally a comic set up uh, it's the size of a comic and it's set up kind of like what g fan is now um i don't know 
uh, what came first. Uh, I would assume 94 that it was that. I don't know. Um, but it's very similar to what we get in GFAM now. And it's, uh, it's really cool. All right, moving on. I'm just going to show you guys the covers of the next ones because uh, it'll take too long to go through all of them. So I got the Godzilla vs. Barkley uh, comic by Dark Horse. And uh, all the rest of these um, I got as a bundle. Um, that one, the Sentai, I got for 10 bucks, which uh, I was cool with. So yeah, Godzilla vs. Barkley. And then, again, this is all a bundle. Uh, I got the full run of the Dark Horse Godzilla comic. So that's issue zero, issue one. Issue two, I had this as a kid, this issue. And here, I'm gonna turn this because it's causing a bad glare. I had this um, when I was a kid and man, that I, I read it so much, the covers were falling off and the pages were coming out. I mean, it was crazy. Uh, let's see, issue three. Issue four. Issue five, issue six, issue seven, issue eight, issue nine, ten, eleven. 15, the Lord Howie Monster. And last but not least, issue 16. I also had issue 16 when I was a kid. And uh, the terror from space, I thought, was supposed to be Dark Horse's version of Destroya. Um, and man, I loved this issue. That and the, cyber, the issue with Cybersaur. Um, man, I loved it loved the dark horse comics when i was a kid i thought they were as my buddy eric says they were like the bible <laughs> um also i guess you could call this kind of a dark horse review maybe that'll be the name of the uh of the video the people uh the guy that i got the sentai mag uh comic from he also had these uh, prints from Dark Horse that were given out in the um, late 80s. Um, now, these are just prints, um, but they are the prints from the 80s. So they're not like the newer ones that you can get or people have reproduced um, of recent. So there's this one. You can see Godzilla's silhouette. And... There is this one. And it even has the packaging on the back that it came with for the stuff on the inside, which I think is really cool. Um, definitely did not go there thinking that I was going to get so many comic books and prints, but uh, I'm trying to get all the back issues of um, the... Dark Horse Godzilla comics, which I have all of them now, um, except for the Return of Godzilla ones, that six-issue miniseries that I need to get still, and the Marvel. Other than that, I have at least one copy of every other Godzilla comic, so that's my goal. Okay, all right, moving on to the last two things I want to show you guys. Um, so those of you who are Power Ranger fans um, are probably familiar with Hasbro Pulse, and they are doing something called the Zord Ascension Project, and they're coming out with uh, Power Rangers from different eras. Well, they just came out with the Power Rangers in Space Megazord, and I was able to pick that up. It's one of my favorite Megazords, so I'm super happy about that. I love the packaging, and this is everything that it comes with. It has all the accessories, different hands. It has the shield, 
uh, with a blaster and a sword. And then it has all the different rangers, black, yellow, red, pink, blue. That is the um, like spaceship mode. That is, uh, oh, I forgot, like the space shuttle, the docks. And last but not least, that's the Megazord mode, obviously. And you can see that like the rangers can actually go in it, which is neat, which I think is really cool. And I can't wait to open this guy up and display him. Definitely one of my favorite Megazords as a kid. All right, last, this big old boy. I don't even know if he's gonna fit on camera. I'm gonna move it now. So Big Bad Toy Store, who I don't normally order from because they're a little expensive, um, but they had a sale on this guy. He was normally 300 bucks and uh, he was on sale for 200 plus $4 shipping. So it came out to like 217 or 220 bucks, let's say, uh, after taxes and shipping which I thought was amazing. Uh, the Zord Ascension project uh, Astro Megazord was 165, if I remember correctly. 160, I don't remember. 160, I think. Um, and the comics, uh, they ended up being, I got all the comics that I showed you guys, um, minus the Sentai one, I bought that separately from somebody else. But all the other ones I got, uh, there was 130 for the whole lot. So it came out to be about $7.20 a comic. Um, it's a new little segment that I told you guys that I was going to do because people had asked what I pay for this stuff. And I keep forgetting, so I apologize. Um, all right, moving on. I got uh, Golly. The Banda. Godzilla Earth. Hang on, i got to move this. Um... Yeah, the Godzilla Earth from Bandai. Uh, so this is the, um, it's not like super premium, but it's kind of along the lines of the super premium uh, Godzillas. So I'll be honest with you guys. Godzilla Earth is probably my least favorite Godzilla design, as well as my least favorite films or pretty much anything Godzilla. Um, and I don't really have a lot of it represented in my collection. So when this went on sale, I was like, all right, I'm going to pull the trigger and get it. Here's the side of the box. And here's the back of the box. I, uh, I don't know. I mean, it is what it is. I, I, like I said, I'm not in love with it, with the design. I think it's very stiff boring um i definitely wish they did more with it but unfortunately they did not um let's see i'm gonna see if i can open it fast if i can open it fast i'll review it real quick but like i said definitely not one of my favorite godzilla designs but i did want it it want it want a representation of it for my collection so uh, oh yeah, looks like it should be easy enough to, I don't even know what's in there. Oh gosh, that must be the tail. Here he is. I'm not going to put them together because it's going to take too long, but I will open it and let you guys see. What good television it is to see me on open this. Um,
big old boy. Okay, so like I said, this is from Bandai. Here he is. Got whoops, sorry guys. Uh, Godzilla Earth, and so there's no articulation on him. It is literally, it's kind of like a uh, statue, I would say. And yeah, that's. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess the tail is gonna be kind of easy to put on. Um, I wanted it for a representation in my collection. I do have the other Bandai's uh, from Planet of the Monsters and stuff that came out, um, but I wanted something a little bit bigger. And I don't know. I mean, it was on sale for two hundred bucks. I ain't mad about it. I've spent two hundred hours in ten minutes at the casino, so at least this will be in the collection for a long time. So here's the tail stand. It does come with a tail stand. Um, and here's the tail and it actually just is like a big peg and it slides right in actually like this is really nice as far as the uh the way the tail goes in let's see if it's easy of course it's not nope i'll need a hair i'll need a hair dryer um i'm surprised that x, x plus doesn't do something like this no yeah i can't get that in so oh well um, but yeah, this is what it would be like here, and then here's the tail. As you can see, there's like the peg. You just slide it in, and bam, there we go. So yeah, all right guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, please continue to like, comment, subscribe, and all of that fun stuff. Let me know if there's anything else you guys see that I do that you guys would like to see me review. And uh, thank you guys for all the support and everything. Also, um, March 25th, this coming Saturday, uh, Eric Stolp's Bearded Kaiju Reviews is going to be doing another lowdown episode that I'll be on, which I'm super excited for. And it's instead of uh, March Madness for, I don't know, some type of sports ball, it's going to be uh, Kaiju Madness. And we're going to be doing like a bracket system with all these different monsters and uh, trying to crown who is going to be the new King of the Monsters. Godzilla's excluded because we all know that Godzilla is the King of the Monsters. So <clears throat> check that out. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.